Welcome. Game number three, ladies and gents, here in this qualifier for World Rumble 2. And we we actually have Pilgrims in a competitive tourney here. Uh, again, like I said, game three. But this, this tournament has Pilgrims in the map pool. And uh, we've got Spanish for Repard. We've got Persians for Hope. If you know Pilgrims from community games, you know they start on the island. I don't know what these things are, by the way. Apparently, they're just there. You can't do anything with them. Sorry, donkeys. You start with the transport ship. Uh, here is not regicide, though. Okay? So they're not able to... Um, because it's not regicide, they're not able to snipe any kings, and there's obviously no diplomacy with this being... With, uh, this being a 1v1. So Repard transports to TC here. And then Hope transports to TC here. And they leave some villagers on the starting island. I say they leave some villagers on the starting island. Looks like Repart is just going to leave one. Now, my prediction here is that this one villager is the house and then dock villager. We'll see how the players do this. I actually think it's a little awkward for Repart. He needs the house. He misclicked. He misclicked. Okay. He needs the wood and he needs the house before the TC is up. There we go. Because the TC gives you five pop space, but he can't produce vills because he doesn't have the house yet. And so he's just going to get loom. And yeah, then he's going to click up. I hope scouting right now with this transport ship. And scouting here with the sheep because they don't have scouts. But fish is really plentiful on this map. So I think this might be a map where we just see uh, like two docks in Feudal Age and players compete for water. But with the Spanish being here, if her part can get enough food... Repart, unfortunately, can't see the board. But if Repart can get enough food, as he gets housed again! Ah! Um, I think Fast Castle Conquistador could be sick here. Um, Spanish are so good with Fast Castle builds into Conquistadors. And there's enough food around. There's deer. He'll find another boar here. He might eventually see this boar. So that's three boars, plus some fish, plus some sheep. What will Hope try and do to stop him here? We haven't done Pilgrims in a while in community games, I agree. Noticing berries could be a bit awkward for Repard. Not that you necessarily need that, but he's just found it over here. I'm really liking how compact things are for Hope here. You know what I think? I... I, you know what I think Hope needs to do, okay? I'm going to tell you this, and then it's never going to happen because that's how my brain works. Okay. You need to kill the Spanish fish. Right? That That's like a given, right? You kill the Spanish fish with a fast feudal. And then you full stonewall the map. I know it sounds crazy, all right? But think about it. You're going to be up against conks, most likely. So you kill the fish... So they don't have that food income. Makes it more difficult for them to make conks long term. And then you like stonewall here and you stonewall here. From what he has scouted, I think that's very realistic. And imagine if he stonewalls between the water and then Repard docks here and makes a transport and sends the conks across. <laughs> also, I have no clue why donkeys are here. I don't know if maybe we need to ask for clarification on that, but I don't think they do anything, guys. This is a... Tr I think there's some maps where these can be like a trade unit. I'm pretty sure that AOE4 used this concept. Any AOE4s out there, tell me if they recognize this. I'm pretty sure in AOE4 they have like trade donkeys like this. This is from the Age of Empires 2 um, scenario editor. There's units that aren't in normal games. But I don't think you could do anything with those donkeys. Repard is definitely going fast castle. He's bringing in another boar. He's adding the... He's added the fourth. He's adding the fifth fishing ship. So he's just going to add as much eco as possible. Now Hope is used to transport ship. And Hope knows that this is where the dock is for Repard. So he's going to add the second dock. If I were him, I would just go... Uh, two galleys, kill the fish... And then you have the stonewall. I'm telling you, what's going to happen here is this. He's not going to stonewall, and he's going to die to conks, okay? 
because the conks get in. That's just my prediction. I've seen it so many times, dude. So no one here with any AoE4 perspective. Anyone here play AoE4? Or have you played AoE4? I, uh, I played it um, for a bit. I gave it a shot. It wasn't for me. I'm not expecting the majority of you guys to play it, but... As you are here watching AoE2, after all. There's always going to be tough to, to beat AoE2 with AoE4. Yeah, Gilgamesh, it's true. The castle player can petard the walls. However, petarding the walls is another... That takes more time, and that, again, is food and gold. So, actually, just thinking about this, there's only 100 stone now because they spent resources on the starting TC. So actually, Conquistadors is going to be trickier here than a standard, like, Nomad game. Played it, immediately came back to AoE 2. Cool. Alright. A little surprised that Hope is adding more Fire Galleys. This alone should tell him he's winning on water, but I mean, this will guarantee he wins on water. The alternative for him would be to instead make fishing ships and bring in lots of food quickly. I would be worried about Conquistadors. He drops the market here. We are not seeing Repart on stone yet, so my Conquistador callout could be incorrect. We see Market Blacksmith. He's fleeing with his fish. That's nice, because you might be able to get away with some of them. I hope immediately thinking about Castle Age after this, getting housed. Is he making a house? Oh, hope? Oof, this is rough, actually. Been a little sloppy. Still not being able to produce out of this TC. He's basically gone Loom and Townwatch solely because he got housed and didn't rush a house down. So he's down two vills from where he could be because of those two upgrades. But obviously those upgrades are helpful. T90, do you dream about AoE 2? All the time. All the time. At least, like... I would say I... 90% of my dreams are Age of Empires 2. I know that's sad, maybe, but that's the reality. <laughs> uh, very frequently. <laughs> uh, and I dream... I dream a lot, so I'm a dreamer. Uh, I dream almost every night I sleep, and every single dream is all Age of Empires 2. It's usually me playing a game and I from dark age all the way to imp I'm just in the dream and on mornings that I oversleep those are the games where you know we're we're getting fortified wall we're getting masonry we're walling between choke points we're prepping for the late game we're getting our blacksmith text oh no he's got hustlers in my eco I must send halbs I send halbs I'm gonna go raid him with my with my condos because I'm Italians and I go raid him and it's back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And then eventually we go down to the last tree. The game ends. I win or lose. And then I wake up and I'm like, crap, I slept through my alarm. I'm being serious, guys. Like, if I were to speak to a professional about this, they would say I have a problem and I need more balance. I'm not kidding. Almost every dream is AoE 2. I'm not being sarcastic. So, where's this castle going to go for Repard? Okay, funny side note, okay? So, during my break after Hidden Cup, I started to play this other game, this chill hunting game called Way of the Hunter, okay? And basically, you just hunt stuff. The night after I started playing that game, this is a true story. I haven't told viewers yet. I had a dream that I was hunting in the woods with Mr. Yo and dash for whatever reason okay so mr yo was with me and we were talking about age of empires and i was asking him questions and then dash was there too and dash was all like yo was in the same jacket he always wears at these events but dash was like suited up he had like the hunted hat like dash is dash of course he's gonna have the wardrobe right so yeah we were just creeping through the woods but i kept talking to yo about age of empires so yeah 
Uh, it happened. I don't really... We didn't, like, shoot anything. There was no hunting involved. I just remember that. I woke up and I told my fiance, I'm like, you're never going to believe this dream. And of course, every time I say that, the dreams are never about her. <laughs> it's never like, oh, yeah, we moved to Portugal, you know, on the coast. And we, you know, we, we spent so much time together. No, it's like, no, babe, listen, I was in the woods with Yo. Okay, Dash was there too. I'm not sure what was happening. And we were hunting the talking Age of Empires. Yeah. So Hope did kind of wall up like I wanted, right? This is really smart thinking and has water control now. Now there is still a transport for Rapart. It's going to be hard for him to use it. Oh God. Very risky situation there. But he could technically transport around this wall here. I wonder if he looks for this transport at some point here soon. Now, he could make petards to bust through the walls, which is what someone suggested. But that takes time. That takes resources. And that's time and resources you're, you're spending not making conquistadors. But it's like, what do you even make as the Persians against the conquistadors? They have really crappy monks, really crappy skirms. I would say camels, if you can get the hits, could actually be decent. But Camel still gets shredded by the conks. I think Hope wants to surround these. And for lack of a better word, I think he's hoping that husbandry allows him to chase down these conquistadors. I am concerned for him. Here he is. Rapard sees this. And he sees the petard Hope. But this is what I mean. Sure, the camels are faster. But the conks still kind of shred you. And then there's a monk to get a conversion. You just can't get in close there. I would have loved to seen a, a wall that was further forward solely because of how dangerous conks are. But I think he's played it pretty well. And this is just really hard to stop. Petard takes down most of the wall. Conks can break through the rest. Hope tried to place houses to stop the conks from getting through. That's not going to happen now. And the camels are going to hope to come in and surprise with engagements. But Rapard has the monks there as well. Rapard has played this perfectly. And like, you're just stuck right now. Economically, the Persians have a great start. Great start, But it, so many civs struggle against this play from the Spanish. I do not know what to suggest from here. Except to say you have fish. Maybe you can make something happen because you can make more units. But there is a thing. If the units are so valuable that they're always getting kills and never dying, it's kind of okay for the player in Rapard's position whose economy is not as great. I like this. Walling and everything because the camels came to raid. Maybe Hope could expand his fishing economy even more. He's adding a lot of fish. I actually think Elite Skirm, as as bad as it is long-term with Persians, I actually think Elite Skirm is really good. I think maybe Camels and Elite Skirm. Or maybe, you know, if we can go back in time, maybe instead of going Camels in the first place, maybe some Skirmishers in general. But you can see when the Camels actually attack, they eat the Conks. So that's what he's hoping for. So in low numbers like that, that, that shows you. But when the monks can convert your buildings now, it really forces you to react because you either engage against this and you lose two camels or you don't engage against this and you lose your market and you lose your houses. There's no real area that Rapard needs to focus on beyond this right now. He converts the market. He converts the houses. Now maybe we see an engagement from Hope because the monks can't convert his camels at least. That would be the thinking here. Oh god, wow, those conks run underneath the TC. That was a little risky there from her part. T90 was listening at the TV, couldn't respond yet, but about your dream stuff, what your experience is called the Tetris effect. I frequently have the same thing. Look it up. There's a wiki page for it. Dude, I don't say Tetris. I'll probably dream about Tetris with Yo and Dash next. Don't give me more games for my brain. God, there's nothing more satisfying than seeing someone convert houses and then having the other person get housed. <laughs> I love that. It's very satisfying. Hope can't produce out of his TCs, his stables, his dock. 
All because of that. Now, Rapart has gone a little far here. Rapart could actually be trapped. Oh my god. And where is he going to run? If he thinks he's going to get trapped, he's going to run to the shoreline. Yo, that could be really sick. Oh man, the camels though. I, I just don't know. I think especially with this little choke point. Oh, there's a castle now. Okay, interesting moment. Castle foundation could be shot by the conks. Here go the camels. They will engage. He wants to get the castle up. Now the conks will run potentially to the shoreline. If they do, they could get demoed, but they're just backing away this way. And Hope is trying to stop the escape. And Rapard builds his own house and then is going to delete his own house. That was a great play. Wow, just a lot of tiny details here from both of them. It was really smart in this game. But guys, Hope's economy is flying compared to Rapard's, and let's not forget that. That was a good enough trade. He killed quite a few monks. He's killed some conquistadors, and now he's protected. And he has all these villagers back here. Rapard hasn't had any fishing ships. Rapard is is five thousand resource. <laughs> 5,000 resources behind with resources collected, and he has to play catch-up in that regard. Yep, conversions will come in. And that's what Rapard needed. He needed to keep the monks alive. Maybe converting the buildings was a mistake. I still think Conquistador Monk is really good here, though. I think the score is a... It's, no, it, the score's not a bit deceiving, actually. There's a 30 eco lead right now for, for Hope. Rapart is four on food. Yeah, the balance is not exactly there. But the, the map control is. Hmm. <laughs> Someone says Jackie Chan had that effect. He played too much Tetris and had a dream about his head being a Tetris block. Really? <laughs> That's a very specific statement. <laughs> So, I mean, what do you do from here? I mean, you're walled. You have a castle. It feels like Imperial Age would be the next goal here for Hope. Hope is actually out of gold. Wow, what a fun game. Now, actually, he's not out of gold. He could actually take this gold if he remembers that's there. But he cannot afford to click up. He is escaping, though, to TC this gold. Oh, man. Rapard, how did he let that happen? Rapard is going to be through again, though. Boom. Batard's through. Conks are here. These farms have just been added. And Hope is getting hit again. And again, you just feel for Hope. Because you're just wondering, what more can the guy do? If you were to look at the stat screen right now and see the res collected, it'd be unbelievable. The Batard does just get used on the camel there, which is kind of funny. Monk gets a conversion and will now die. But this is that e that precious farming eco that Hope wants. And Rapard is using this time to add those farms behind. Now, he's got some real T90 farms today. It actually gives gives me hope. Not like Hope the player, but, you know. You, you get what I'm saying. Villager's just constantly idled in the TC, out of the TC. You look away for a second, you're going to get slaughtered. And Rapard is bringing this game back. It looked like after he got trapped or... Not, not fully trapped, but after he lost that initial group of conks that he wasn't going to be able to do it here. The problem with having so much eco for hope is there's so much for these conquistadors to kill. Somewhere, someone's saying, yeah, that's why I idle my TC. That's why I don't produce bills, because then my opponent doesn't have as much to kill. I don't want to boost my opponent's confidence here. Yikes. I still want to see Skirmisher. You do need food for that, but... Sometimes it's just easier for you to just spam the unit you've already invested into and just add farms. So, like, he's probably stuck in that frame of mind. Adding more stables there. Hoping the fights improve. This is the second market that Rapard has converted now. Rapard has three markets. I'd like to point that out. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> There's still a monk. <laughs> There's now a new market for hope. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. The monk can't convert yet, but can't, will be able to soon. But he's not going to hunt down the market. God, he's going to go for conversion. This is, this is, oh, God. Rapard's brought it back. Rapard's going to win this game. 
Rapart is gonna win this game. Just Camels is just not the play against Monk and Conquistador. Maybe, maybe against just Conks. But I cannot but feel like this little this little escape might give uh hope a shot. Look at these farms, bro. Does Rapart see this? What? He doesn't see it. Well, hey, with how he's placing farms, he might place a farm on it pretty soon. Hope. 25 fishing ships, by the way. Getting rather inefficient out here. And the camels come in from this angle to attack. Rapard will react to that. And you have to run. Hope, yeah, run the other way. Do not run towards your castle. Yeah, that's what you do. You take the fight. You force the conks back. Castle goes up. It gets very interesting here. Hope starting to lose houses. Hope loses a villager. Rapard's going to actually build a monastery here. Hope is going to try and escape. Maybe get to the castle. But Hope is up. Hope is up to castle. And he can still take gold. Oh, he's up to imp, rather. Hmm. Well, Rapard does the right thing. Guys, if you see a castle next to your castle, just idle production and go imp. Usually. Okay, it does depend, as I'm sure you all know, but... Hope is going to go for Trebs. He can't really afford that many. Rapar just stopped the veil production and says, I'm going to go up two. And now can just camp this gold. And Hope is so distracted by this still. He's probably reacting. He's maybe looking at his fish and changing efficiency things there. And he's going to... He clicks Lightcap now. I mean, he has a lot of stables. I actually wouldn't mind Lightcap raids. Lightcap raids into the back of Rapard's eco could be a problem for Rapard. Rapard only has one castle. And that's important too, right? Rapard only having one castle essentially means... Here come the scouts. While wow, Rapard's monk controlling has been really good here. He might actually get conversions on these. Wow. But yeah, one castle means that he's gonna... He's gonna really struggle for conch production. And he only has six. Light Cab will kill these monks. Conks are coming this way, but Hope will get another TC up. And what a great game. Who wins this game, guys? Pick somebody right now. Right? This is this is for everything. All all the pride in the YouTube comments and here on Twitch. I see a lot of people saying hope. Alright. Well, he doesn't he's struggling to have the resources for everything he wants to do, but his first treb's gonna be on the way. Conk's here, dive in, kill Vils. Nice job from Repard. 41 on food here for Rapard. It would be very realistic for him to go Halb. Or his own light calf. He's dropping stables now. Never had a stable, so never had bloodlines. So he's a couple steps behind as far as that's concerned. Opponent would be prepped to make camels, but his resources are looking really nice. It doesn't have to be just Conquistador for him. He's going to try Knights. Ooh, now he's pop capped. Keep in mind his eco's next to all of this. There's the first castle here. From Hope. And man, Rapard is such a pain. These monks, those villagers. Hope actually going for the TC first. I don't like that. I would be going for that castle, but he's going to drop ranges. He's going to drop stables. He, I think, is still in stabilized economy mode, which is hard for us to see sometimes. Blacksmith upgrades need to be flying in for both of them right now, ideally. Quite a few monks out there for Rapard still, and he's gone for monk upgrades too. This is the This is the the majority of the golden come for Rapard. I say the majority, he's still got gold back here, gold back here. Okay, so I'm wrong. Monks are a problem. Light cab was the right idea, Hope. Hope is now also going to build an outpost here to see what Rapard's doing. Why knights from Rapard? Probably wants some mobility. He feels like he can convert the camels. I'm with you. I would go Hal, personally. Um, but I, I can't control monks like Rapard can. And I'm sure you can't either. So I think that the, the idea here is knights are just the stronger unit. They can finish the game faster. Monks can convert anything that's a problem. Hope now repairing. 
But yeah, the camel heavy camel upgrades in for hope. But if monks are there, he can't take engagements. Rapard no stone, by the way. So hope is just going to treb the opponent's trebs, and we will have a bombard cannon as well for Rapard. Blacksmith upgrades coming in from both right now for their calf. This game has been incredibly close. Best game of the series for those that missed the earlier games. Camels are just waiting to hop out of the castle to kill any knights that go in. But what are you doing about the bombard cannon? You show your camels is what you do. And if you show your camels, the monks are waiting. And we're part. Sick stuff. But the light calf do a loop-de-loop. -loop. The light calf loop around from behind. The monks... They weren't prepared, but the light cap are blocked off, and now I think Hope just has to engage, and he does. He only has one treb. Oh, really bad engagement here for Hope. The Bombard Cannon's made such a difference here for Rapard. And Rapard now has Monks around still for those camels. Couple conks, which is never going to hurt. His castle's still up. And everyone who said Hope... He's like, what? Cavalier or beating camel? <laughs> but look, see what I mean? How the monks just command so much control over this area now. Also, I, I again, I got to applaud Rapard for his consistency with his raids earlier in the game. And I mean, he was 50 bills behind. Crazy stuff. I still think it's a little stubborn not to be going for Halb here. Uh, especially against this many camels. But he's taking the fight. Hope is, of course, going to take that fight. It's camels against Cavalier. He'll take it every single time. And TC will get trapped down. More Cavalier in queue here for Rapard. But Hope is, is going to have lack of map control here. Villagers are exposed in different areas. Here, he will lose a bunch of villagers. Here, he can lose villagers. Still Rapard, always paying attention to the front. Having enough units to protect the monks in most cases. Lots of gunpowder in the mix, too. The gunpowder is actually the biggest problem, and Hope knows that, and Hope calls the GG. What a fun game. The most created unit from Rapard is actually the monks, but Rapard was 50 villagers behind, and Hope tried. Like, he went for Light Calf, still couldn't get to the monks because they were protected by conks or whatever. And he went camels for the conks and still didn't have an answer. I think Skirmisher... Uh, people here right now are going to say, well, you got to go skirm then, right? Well, here's the issue, okay? And this is why it's a tough matchup for Persians. If you go for Skirmisher, what do you do when your opponent adds one Mangano? With some sieves, you can you make your own monks, you can go for Redemption, and you can convert that Mangano. But if you don't have... Uh, Redemption, if you don't have that possibility, your skirms just die to the composition still. And it's really, really tricky. Rapard did a nice job making it messy. Rapard did a nice job giving himself time to expand his eco behind. I just think Spanish are easier militarily. Persians are better economically, which we saw in this game. We saw the Persian player get ahead economically and then Spanish player just dominate. It was a very close game. That puts Rapard up 2-1 in this series here. And uh, guys, if you see this later on on YouTube, uh, this is this whole series will be on the extras. It'll be in the video description. Uh, the extras channel always gets the extra stuff if you want more content and more more casts. I felt like this was a really good game, right? I've seen some of the Pilgrims one v one games in this event qualifier. I it, it hasn't they haven't blown me away. Some of them have been kind of crap to be honest. This one was great. Again, Rapard's monks. He had twenty eight conversions from 28 monks, and that is not including all the healing that he did in that game. I don't even know if that if that counts the buildings he converted. Does anyone know? Because if that doesn't count the buildings he converted as well, multiple markets, like... I remember a game from Rapard last year where he had over 100 conversions from like 40 or 50 monks. He's just an insane player with monks. But of course, he had conquistadors to back it up and everything else too. So, uh, GG, and we move on.